it had started as a research project in the 1960s involving the government of Canada, uh, Queen's University and uh, IBM Canada. In 1969, when uh, Professor Hugh Lawford of the Law Faculty and Dick von Briesen of the Mathematics Faculty worked together to uh, create a project on how to use the latest electronic tools for legal research. And that was pretty groundbreaking and innovative at the time. It steadily grew in scope to the point that uh, they took it off campus and founded Quick Law in 1973. 1973 was a fundamentally important and game-changing year. It raised the level of legal research. And it was really a different way of thinking about how to do legal research effectively and efficiently. The importance of legal research cannot be overstated. It's fundamental to the practice of law. Access to legal information is key in our world. In order to ensure that uh, you can make the strongest possible case for your client, uh, you have to be aware of the entire legal landscape. Uh, if you didn't have legal research, you wouldn't know what had happened previously, and we wouldn't be able to build on the, the foundation of our courts. La recherche juridique en ligne est vraiment indispensable dans le travail des avocats. C'est la façon de gagner du temps, c'est la façon de mieux servir les clients, et c'est la façon d'avoir confiance à toute l'information qu'on peut trouver rapidement, facilement, et de façon très efficace. Before Quick Law, if you wanted to access a full collection of the law, you needed access to a collection of law books, a legal library, or some legal institution. So if we didn't have that today, uh, imagine um, it's only magnified in the modern world. Everything needs to move so much quicker. Answers need to be found so much faster. Quick laws evolved over the years really to meet the needs of customers. When I began, you used to have to spend hours consulting numerous books to trace back legal breadcrumbs of a case or a statute or to find commentary in a textbook. All of a sudden, when they had to do a quick law search, they didn't have to leave their office. So imagine the change that that brought. The quick law revolutionized the process of legal research. I would say that it is kind of writing the game because it, it, this research is really hard or impossible without these types of services. We have lots of lawyers that tell us they can't practice without it. I couldn't imagine where we would be if we didn't have Quick Law. How you would provide justice and fairness and um, stability in the legal system if you didn't have a way of finding previous case law. Even though the, the interface was very primitive by today's standards, I think the real eye-opener as a law student was being able to do something that we take for granted as full text searching across an entire database to find specific words, specific phrases. It also had influences broadly as we saw more and more countries across the world adopt online legal research. 2002, when Quick Law was acquired by LexisNexis, really represented a shift. It really uh, brought together two different companies with uh, different but complementary products. It in itself promotes legal knowledge with the ease of navigation uh, when researching. Once Quick Law launched, if you had a computer terminal, it didn't matter where you were, who you were, what access you had to the institutions, you could access the collection of Canadian law from anywhere. Sometimes you could be looking for a needle in a haystack and uh, in the more conventional ways of legal research, you might never find that needle. Now I would say the tools enable you to definitively find it if it exists and not to spend an inordinate amount of time doing so either. Today, everyone takes for granted the fact that we can Google a problem. But back then, um, we were learning a brand new skill set and you know, a whole way of approaching legal research was invented. We had to learn about how to put things together so that the computer would get the right answer for us. The other thing that I remember being blown away by was finding the collection of case summaries where somebody had already read through a 20, 30, 100 page case and written a short and concise half page or one page summary. 
as a law student that was always looking for a way to expedite doing all the readings, finding that collection of summaries of the cases was a real game changer for me. We realized that we had a gap in terms of an equivalent French language product. J'ai eu la chance et l'opportunité de voir l'évolution de, de l'information juridique à travers le temps chez LexisNexis. Et je peux vous dire un des moments clés pour l'information juridique en français, c'est le lancement de l'encyclopédie juridique Juris Classeur Québec en 2008. Cette encyclopédie a été développée par plusieurs auteurs, des praticiens, des universitaires, et c'est la première et la seule encyclopédie en français disponible au Canada. We need a Canadian product, sort of followed the Canadian legal rules, which were different than the U.S., provided Canadian legal commentary, law journals. So Quick Law was so important to Canadian legal researchers. We introduced Lexis Advanced Quick Law as the next generation of legal research platform. Lexis Advanced Quick Law was an important evolution from a marketing perspective because it gave lawyers the ability to pivot. It gave them the ability to be more effective, more efficient and to deliver the superior service to their own customers. And what this ended up doing was really opening up the door to new types of lawyers, people who were located in places that didn't have access to these institutions, people that were restricted perhaps by physical limitations. I remember we had two law students uh, with me in law school who were visually impaired and the only way that they were able to do their readings was because it was online. Watching those things come in over the years was pretty exciting. I remember launching our first app for Notepad. Um, it was probably for an iPad, in fact, uh, because that was the first one I think that we started developing for. And having the first feedback come back in of somebody actually sitting in court and being able to research a precedent in court in real time while they were at a trial. The launch of Lexus Plus was a real milestone to our customers and to the market here in Canada. I am so excited as a marketer to look at the horizon. What's next? What's next in AI? What's next in GAI? As we see the product evolve to satisfy our customers' needs. You know, when I joined this industry, I heard from a lot of people that lawyers were not fans of technology and that they were slow to adopt technology. But what I've seen has been quite the opposite. I think what we've seen in the last five years is a greater appreciation and understanding that an online legal research service is not just a digital version of a library. It feels like we're, we have a great opportunity to continue with the traditions and the deep respect that we have for the law and what's come before, but now to really accelerate it and make it um, appropriate for the 21st century. It's a very exciting place to be in seeing the evolution of legal research. I think that we couldn't have imagined just 20 years ago where we would be. I think we will see an evolution that maybe we can't predict right now where this technology just becomes another tool, a better tool for the very human lawyers and participants in the justice system doing their jobs. We need legal research tools in one way or another and the online research tools have just made everybody's life better and easier. I think legal research is going to continue to evolve and with artificial intelligence it's just going to be exponentially more powerful, um, fast and accessible. I think the best compliment I've received was a customer saying to me, you guys are not just doing a day job, but you're adding value to society by contributing to the rule of law. As thought leaders in this industry, we will continue to add value to our customers, focusing on the ethics behind our approach to product development and the responsible use of AI and generative AI. One word that comes to mind for Quick Law is revolutionary. Confidence. Innovation. Powerful. Pioneer. Canadian. It makes me actually proud to see the, what we have achieved and even more excited to look forward to the next 50. As a trusted partner who's consistently delivered proven results 
we celebrate 50 years of legal research and we will champion the next 50 years to come. We are excited. We're excited. We're excited. We're excited. We're excited. We are excited. Nous avons déjà hâte for the next. For the next 50 years. The next 50 years. The next 50 years to come. The prochain 50 ans. 50 years to come. The next 50 years to come. For the next 50 years to come. For the next 50 years to come.